couldn't have hit him. Where did he come from? I never saw him. I couldn't have hit him. Hey, where'd you go? Where are you? Hey! Hey, where are you? What do you think you're doing right in front of my car like that? Come on, we gotta get out of here. You're filthy. <laughs> Actually kind of cute under all that. Well, you do look like you've been on your own for a while. <sighs> Terrific. Now what am I gonna do with you? I'm already late for Mr. Sheldon's meeting. Well, maybe I could take you someplace out in the country where you won't walk in front of cars. I could take you out to the city park. There's lots of open space there. You'd love it. You'd leave it. Come on, come on, I'm already late. And now I've got my own canine legal assistant. Any messages? I said, Cindy, what is that? State's evidence or something? <laughs> uh, she ran out in the street in front of my car. Oh, oh Cindy, you're always the softy. Anyway, Mr. Sheldon had to start the Landers meeting without you, and he wants those adoption case papers by... Cindy? Cindy? Martha, do you own a dog? I've got the best, dear. Quiet, never barks, and very clean. Doesn't require shots or trips to the vet. No neutering, either. He seems quite content. Really? Is he a pure bed? Absolutely. 100% pure polyester. <laughs> Martha. Cindy, you're not thinking about keeping that dog, are you? I don't know. Maybe. Here. What's that? Yesterday's paper. You're going to need it. Hi, I, uh, I'm not even going to ask. Listen, uh, several of us are meeting at the uh, limelight after work. Do you want to join us? Yeah, sounds good, but uh, it'll probably be a little late. I have an errand to run after work. Yeah. Okay. found this dog. Well, she sort of found me, really. I was going to leave her in the park, but that didn't seem right. Oh, uh, you did the right thing. This is our fifth lost dog today. Uh, Phil, you mind taking this dog back to the kennel? I've driven past her a lot, but I've never had a reason to stop. Well, come on, follow me. I'll show you around. Don't forget your sash. Besides all the stray animals, a lot of people just drop their pets off because they don't want them anymore. I never realized there were so many dogs here. Oh, not just dogs, but all the stray and unwanted cats. There are just too many animals and not enough responsible pet owners. You know, we'll be lucky if the owners come to claim the ones that are lost. If they don't, all we can do is try to place some of them in new homes. It's not their fault. It's all the people who allow their pets to wander through the neighborhood, letting them breed and produce more unwanted pets. Who end up here. That's right. Now, this dog you've got, I bet she'd make a great pet. Oh, well, I haven't owned a dog since I was a child. Chances are she'll be here a while if the owners don't come to claim her. Let me know if you're interested. A dog? Nah. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, did you get your uh, errand taken care of? Yeah. 
kind of cute, really, but filthy. Hi. Hi. I'll have the usual. You aren't really thinking of taking him in, are you? No. Hey, this sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, who's the lucky guy? <laughs> no, no, this dog. I almost ran her over this morning. I just dropped her off at the shelter. Oh, so you're thinking of taking her in? Maybe. What do you think? You'll have to decide for yourself. There's going to be some changes to your lifestyle that you'll have to accept. Yeah, but some are pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Since I got my cats, uh, I've always got company. <laughs> they love to play, and they're always getting into mischief. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I remember playing for hours with my dog when I was a kid. Maybe I ought to get that little dog at the shelter. You know, she wouldn't cost much if I got her there. Just spaying and shots. Right. Huh. Right. What? Well, let me draw you a picture of this free animal you're considering. Food? Tags? A fenced yard? Entertainment? Kennel fees? Vet fees? Health and beauty aids? Repairs? Mm -hmm. And then there's insurance, uh, special apartment deposits, obedience schools, and I have to feed and take care of him even on days when I don't feel well. Uh-oh. No such thing as a free lunch, right? Or a free dog. And there are a few other things you ought to think about, too. Well, the new addition to all your furniture and carpet. And clothes. Oh, and maybe you're at a great party and you meet this really neat guy, and so you want to stay a little while. But you know your dog is sitting by the door waiting to go outside. You make it sound like it would be less trouble taking care of a baby. If it's so tough, why have a pet at all? Because they love us, and we love them. They're fantastic companions. Yeah, I love being with my cats. Sometimes I think they're the only ones who can make me relax without even trying. You wouldn't believe the guys I've met at obedience training classes and walking my dog. I've even made some good friends just because we have something in common right away. Excuse me. I couldn't help overhearing. It may sound corny to you, but I get a real feeling of being loved and accepted by my dog. She loves to go camping just like we do. Claire and I got an older dog, and she's been just terrific to us. We feel good that we saved her life by getting her to shelter. And we really enjoy her company. That's right. A, a pet gives your life a, a sense of purpose that goes beyond your office work and professional life. Still a dog. I have to think this one over. Here, her too. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Come on. Hey, guys. Come on. Hi. Hey. Well, hello there. Oh. Hi. Uh-oh, looks like you found a friend here. <laughs> How long have you had this pooch? Three years? Three years. Yeah, last yeah. May it was. I see you walking him a lot. He seems really well behaved. Oh, he is. He's a good dog. And we try to get him out about two or three times a day. Oh, yeah. He helps keep us in shape. <laughs> a little aerobics instructing. Oh, one and two. <laughs> follow me. Well, does he follow a regular schedule? Well, we try to. We get him out about 7.30 before we get to work. Right, 7.30 more noon, we take turns coming home to, to get him out. And about 6. We try to six get him out three. by 6 so we can get back in time for the news. Network news. He's a big network news fan. <laughs> yeah, and he has got a timer built right in. He knows right when it's dinner time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, so does Kurt. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it wasn't for the microwave. I wouldn't eat it at all. Ooh. <laughs> so, are you, uh, are you interested in getting a dog? Well, I don't know. Oh, I bet you, oh, you really will uh, like it. You really will. But you, one thing you got to remember now, dog is not an appliance, and it's alive, <laughs> and, and it's always going to be there with I its own know. needs. He needs a lot of attention. He really loves the walks we take him on, and these apartments are small. you got to get him out and let him run. Yeah, there's no commercial breaks with a dog. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. Well, good well, luck. Thanks, huh? Maybe we'll see you and your dog around. Yeah. I'll luck. let you know. <laughs> come on, it's time for his cartoon. All right, come on, Teddy. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I brought a dog in the Oh, other. yeah. She's still here, isn't she? Oh, sure, sure. You know, I'm glad you came back. <laughs> Not everybody does. I'd like to take another look at her. All right, uh, Bill will take you back. Bill? You know, I've been a volunteer here for about five years. And I see people bring their pets in all the time. They always say, you'll find him a good home, won't you? Well, we try. But with so many, it's hard. Not doing much jaywalking these days, are we? You know, I feel kind of awkward asking you this, but you wouldn't be interested in moving in with me, would you? I can try to make you feel like it's your place, too, and 
I'll even arrange my schedule so you can get out and about. Would you like that? Hey, but you've got to keep your part of the bargain. That your wandering days are over. Okay. So what do you think? Well, I think I'll take her home with me. I thought you'd feel that way. The receptionist has an application for you to fill out up front. I'll bring her up. That's fine. I also have a video on caring for your pet I want you to view within the next few minutes. Now, this spay-neuter agreement form states that you'll have the dog sterilized within the next two weeks and that you'll prepay for it at the time of adoption. Will there be any other charges? Just a small adoption fee. Now, this kit contains pet care information, Humane Society pamphlet, local animal laws brochure, and information on how to get the necessary license tags. <laughs> okay, anything else? I also recommend you look over this list of local veterinarians. We have an arrangement with several area vets who examine our adopted animals and start them on preventive shots. You can also discuss the right time to have her spayed. Uh, by the way, have you given any thought to what you're going to name her? Hello, I'm Dr. Newton. Hi, I'm Cindy, and this is Homer. Homer, eh? Been on any odysseys lately? <laughs> Actually, I named her Homer because I want her to stay at home. Oh, spaying will help take care of that. Sterilized pets have less desire to roam, and they're also more gentle and affectionate. About spaying, won't that kind of make her fat and lazy? No, she'll get fat and lazy if you overfeed her or don't let her exercise. Once she's spayed, there'll also be less chance of her developing cancer. The shelter said you could also help with license procedures. Oh, yes. Here's an application. I'll give her her rabies shot. Then you just send in your check with this application and a copy of the rabies certificate for the license. Now, about the spaying, what time would you like to pick her up tomorrow? About this time would be good. See you tomorrow, Homer. Homer! Homer! Hi, Homer! Good baby.